in this video we are going to discuss about scaling in convolution so here when input signals are scaled by alpha then output will be scaled by 1 by modulus of alpha y of alpha t that means for example generally x of t convolution with h of t will provide you y of t if you scale your signals both signals that means input signals and impulse response by alpha then your resultant convoluted signal is also going to scale by 1 by alpha into y of alpha t for example if you are going with proof so now here i am going to consider the convolution equation of these two x of alpha t convolution with h of alpha t now the convolution of these two signal will be integration of h of tau means alpha tau and h of t minus tau means in place of t you need to consider t minus tau d tau and here this is equivalent to integral minus infinity to infinity x of alpha t so alpha tau h of so if you multiply this alpha inside you are going to get alpha t minus alpha tau d tau so now here i am substituting alpha tau is equivalent to lambda i am just considering alpha tau is equivalent to lambda lambda then what will happen means so if i differentiated these two both sides then i am going to get alpha into d tau by dt is equivalent to d lambda alpha into d tau is equivalent to d lambda if i differentiated only one time so d tau is equivalent to d lambda I, if i substituted these values in this equation one then i'm going to get so integral minus infinity to infinity in place of alpha tau i can substitute lambda h of alpha t so minus in place of alpha tau i can substitute my lambda and in place of d tau i can substitute d lambda so here if you replace and compare with the general equation of convolution so this is equivalent i'm just replacing to compare so i'm just replacing this lambda with tau alpha t minus tau d tau so if you want to compare this equation with the general convolution equation so with the shift carried by impulse function then general convolution equation is x of tau h of t minus tau d tau this is the general convolution equation for a convoluted signal y of t which is having convolution of x of t and h of t if you compare these two then you can say this is equivalent to y of alpha t so where we are having this alpha effect that we need to take that means so when you are writing d lambda in place of d tau you need to write d tau is equivalent to 1 by alpha d lambda so that means when you are writing d, d lambda from d tau you need to consider alpha this alpha i am considering like 1 by modulus of alpha when you are taking out from the integration so here finally you can write so y of t or uh, the convolution of these two is equivalent to 1 by modulus of alpha so this you can write by comparing with this so y of alpha t that means if you substitute y of alpha t in place of t then you are going to get x of tau h of alpha t minus tau d tau same thing that's why i return 1 by modulus of alpha y of alpha t as a scaling output for the scaled version of this convolution so that's why so here when any two signals or any signal and its simple impulse response are scaled by alpha then output is also going to affect by that scaling factor like this that means so if you are scaling x of alpha t convolution with h of alpha t then your convoluted signal is going to scale like 1 by modulus of alpha into y of alpha t so in any problem if they given two signals or signal with the convolution of impulse response with a scaling factor then output also you need to scale like this